alligators, it's Allie Hardesty, and today we're going to be talking about some life hacks for Instagram. So that means ways to gain more followers, get more likes, and also get people active on your posts in general without buying likes, buying followers, and all this crazy stuff that people do nowadays. And take it from me because I've been doing this stuff for years now, and it's now 2017. I've had my Instagram since I was a junior in high school, so like four or five years, something like that. It's been a minute. You may notice I am not Instagram famous or an Instagram model by any means. I am a YouTuber, so you're probably assuming that all of my following just carried over from one platform to the other, but that's not necessarily the case. I actually had a decent sized following on there before I even started my channel, and in addition to that, if you compare my Instagram to anybody else's with my amount of subscribers on YouTube or even people who have more subscribers, I have a decent following on there. Everyone's really active on my posts as well, so we're going to talk about why people are so active, how I got my Instagram that way, and just all that stuff. So keep on watching this video. This may seem really obvious, but post high quality pictures, everybody takes their Snapchat stories and throws them on Instagram. It's basically Snapchat 2.0, and after a while, that just looks really lazy. So I'm telling you, it doesn't hurt to take pictures with your regular camera on your iPhone or your Android, or heck, if you have a professional camera, that that's even better, you know? But you do not have to buy an expensive professional camera. I'm just saying, don't post pictures that were taken in the dark or that are really grainy or using the flash all the time because people are gonna get annoyed of that and you know, your friends might follow you, but if you really wanna grow on there and go the extra mile, I'm telling you, it doesn't hurt to have really high quality photos. Also, make sure you are posting personal photos. That means selfies, pictures with your friends because let's face it, people are nosy. People care a lot more about what you look like and who you're hanging out with than what kind of sunset you were looking at or the food you ate for breakfast. People can look up hashtag Denny's in the tags and a picture of waffles will come up that looks way better than your picture of waffles. Same thing with like sunsets or sunrises or whatever kind of scenery you're looking at. So people are following you to look at your post. So make sure that it is unique to you and your life and what you're doing and what you're up to. And it has you in a lot of the pictures because that's just a lot more interesting. So I get asked a lot how I edit my photos or what kind of filters I use. The answer to that is I don't typically use filters. If I do, I'll use VSCO cam. That's Vasco cam and the app store for free, which is awesome. But besides that, I edit my photos on Instagram, not the Instagram filters, but the Instagram settings. And this is a life hack for Instagram because statistically, if you use blue in your photos, you incorporate the color blue, you get more likes. I don't know why, don't ask me why it's a thing, but I'll show you guys how. I'm gonna try my hardest to focus it. So we're gonna press next and then edit. If you go over here, you will see something called colors. And if you notice, there are two blues. There's a light blue and a dark blue. When you click, it's going to automatically show up on 50. I usually drag it down to around 30. Hit done, done, next. And another Instagram life hack, my phone is on airplane mode so I can post and it'll fail, but then it will save in my camera roll. But basically the point of this mini tutorial was to show you guys that people will be more prone to like your pics if you have blue on them. Another tip I have for you guys would be to stay active and post often. I've had trouble with this in the past. I usually post a lot or not at all for like a week, just depending on like if I have a life that weekend or not. Like if I go out with my friends or not, then I'm gonna post. But if you notice the people who have a lot of followers are the ones that post pretty consistently like on a daily or semi daily like every other day type of basis because even if I'm really good friends with someone I'm probably not going to want to follow them if they never post because it's like what's the point hashtags and this only works if your profile is on public so if you're not comfortable doing so then just disregard this one people used to do the whole hashtag follow for follow, hashtag like for like. I think that thing died down by now. And I mean, even if you were using that, I doubt you actually gain any active followers that like really cared about your post to begin with. But anyways, if you do use hashtags, they sometimes can be beneficial. I'll give you guys an example. One time I was at a rave and there was probably a couple thousand people there. I hashtagged what the rave was called and I had tons of people coming to my profile to follow me and like the picture. I had a couple thousand likes on that picture and that was before I did YouTube. So that was like a lot to me at the time. I was like, oh my God, it's because People found me through a common interest. Same thing with tagging your location. If you tag yourself at a rave or in a popular location where there's something going on, people might also be stalking the location and looking at other people in that area. The next tip I have for you guys is to be interactive with your captions. And there's a couple ways to do this. I've seen social media influencers say, hey, tag a friend who would like this hairstyle. Tag a friend who would be interested in blah, blah, blah. That goes with their caption. And I feel like you kind of have to have a following already in order to do that. But like you get the point. They're trying to have more people tag to their profile to follow them but 
On the contrary to that, this is something that everyone can do, and that is writing captions that actually have meaning to the photo. Andrea Russa is a perfect example of this. If you are subscribed to her on YouTube, you may be following her Instagram, and I follow her because she's beautiful, she posts really cool makeup and outfits, but her captions are what make me like all her pictures because she's so personal, she's not afraid to open up. That may seem really easy to do, but when you think about it, how many times have you posted a photo with just a hashtag or emojis because you didn't know what to say? At least for me, I'm more likely to like the photo if I laughed at the caption or I thought it was relatable or I had some type of emotional response to whatever they wrote. Another tip is staying active on other people's photos. So that means liking people's stuff. They're more likely to reciprocate because when you really think about it, are you more likely to type in someone's username just on a whim or click on somebody who already liked your photos and go like their photos back? It just makes sense. Same thing with commenting on other people's pictures. So not only is that person more likely to show love back, but other people will see your name pop up in the comments and click on your name and end up following you, end up looking at your pictures. But that's actually how you get into the Instagram recommended page. If you have a lot of likes, you have a lot of comments, and also it's sort of based off like who you know and who you follow, but you get the idea. Shout out pages. This is a huge one that I feel like a lot of people don't know about or or at least don't take advantage of as much as they could if they wanted to. So there are pages for everything. Country girl shout outs, girls with cute kittens shout outs, hot boy shout outs, like honestly anything. One is total frat move girls, TFM girls. I've been featured on there a couple of times, not on the actual page itself. I think that's like really hard to get on there, but the story, the Instagram story. So it's actually recently that that happened to me twice. I didn't really think that they would do it, but in their bio, it says to send them an email with a picture of you and your at name and what college you go to, and they will put you on their page. So I did that. And then next thing I know, all my guy friends are screenshotting me the TFM girl story. And I gained like hundreds of followers within a day each time that happened to me. But anyways, once you start to get featured on other pages, other pages will find you featured on those pages and ask to shout you out. Sometimes I get shouted out by pages like that without even my permission. Like, I mean, I don't care. They don't have to ask my permission, but people will just do it because they like your pictures because that's how those shout out pages get their pictures. They're from other people. And same with the meme pages, like people are submitting those half the time. So it's like a mutually beneficial thing and you're probably just going to gain followers because people see you on those pages that didn't already follow you and they click your name and then there you go. Share your Instagram pictures to Twitter. When I started doing this, I was really surprised at how many likes I got in just a couple of minutes. Like you get a lot of likes faster in the beginning than you would have if you didn't link to Twitter because that way people know that you posted a picture and they're gonna go look or they'll look right on Twitter and like the photo. Also be social. I know a lot of the time when people meet people at parties or whatever, they're like, hey, what's your Snapchat? Add me. I'm definitely that person who's like, what's your Instagram? Like follow me on Instagram, I'll follow you back. And if you want my number, you can DM me because I'm just more of an Instagram person for sure. So make sure that you're doing that when you meet people if you want. And last but not least, another thing would be to collab. And it's a lot different than on YouTube. That's just really posting a picture with somebody else and tagging them in the caption and also in the picture. So even if your friends don't have a lot of followers, if you're doing this with them, like even if you don't have a lot of followers, it doesn't matter. You guys probably have at least a couple people who are not following both of you. So again, kind of like a shout out, except for I feel like people are more likely to be more active because they're like, oh, that's so-and-so's friend that I just followed. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy these life hacks for Instagram, how to grow yourself on Instagram and you're following, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. My social media will be on the screen if you guys do want to follow. And don't forget to subscribe because I put out new videos all the time, especially if you want more like this one or story times or other types of videos because I make a lot of different sort of content. Also hit the notification bell because that way you are notified when I upload and I will see you guys next time. Later alligators. Bye.